0-1. So still, both uh, both players still technically undefeated here. And uh, again, it's going to be a very, very important match. Uh, looks like we have a... Well, it's bound to happen when you're... <laughs> At some point. When it's the best deck in format, a lot of the best players are playing it. And it's going to be a Lugia V-Star Mirror. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Wancho, we had to uh, kind of assimilate you into this format, right? And what <laughs> what better to do than a Lugia V Star Mirror? Exactly. So here we go. Of course, we do have to reset those prize cards for our players, but we are in our Swiss round six. Evan Smith versus Lance Bradshaw here. We're going to start over here on Evan's side of the field. And we're going to see that Evital being the active Pokemon from Evan. And then an Evolution Incense to search out that Archaeops. Of course, we're going to need to see it hit the discard pile, hopefully, as well for Evan, if that is possible with the current hand. Oh, no. Looking at Evan's Evan's hand, though, I don't think there's a way to find the quick ball. Oh, wow. There's, there's not. nothing. No Lugia V. So essentially, it's like whoa, Lan whoa, 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 Lance whoa. went first here. <laughs> I was about to say, this is actually huge here for Lance. If Lance can sort of pop up or pop off on this turn one, Evan is already, unfortunately, this is how it goes sometimes yes. in the mirror matches, but you are already significantly behind. Winning the coin flip, going first, and having nothing is just absolutely devastating exactly. here for a Lugia V-Star player. So while Lance is kind of searching through the deck here, of course, making themselves familiarized with what is in the prize cards off of this Evolution Incense, is going to be able to draw out an Evolution Pokemon off of it as well and taking notes of those prize cards. How about this Lugia V-Star deck, Wancho? We need to do a little <laughs> intro of it, even though I'm sure it's so familiar to so many people. But hey, there might be some new viewers watching us. Exactly. If you guys aren't familiar yet with the Lugia V-Star deck, it's just it's only the most powerful deck at the moment <laughs> with the Summoning Star ability able to net you uh, any two colorless Pokemon you want from your discard pile. I wonder what those are going to be. It's going to be that Arceus with the <laughs> Primal Turbo ability. Yes, when you use the V-Star, you can go... You don't have to get a basic Pokemon. You can get an evolved Pokemon. Sometimes it's a stage two that evolves from a fossil. Yeah. Really hard to get out. That's why the very powerful ability in the Primal Turbo and really... Uh, it's able to really power up anything you want. C because of the amount of special energies we have in the format, any color you want, you can have it. So you, if you want a, an amazing Raikou, you can play it. Radiant yep. Charizard, you so got it. So many Pokemon can slot straight into this deck. And that's why we are seeing two of those Pokemon here on Lance's side, uh, Lance's side of the field. We did see that research as well, so at least one of those Archeops are really? going to be in the discard pile. Real quick, though, I don't think I see a way. Oh, no, there it is. There's a oh. capture energy there, so just like that. I was going to say, where's the Lugia? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was a little bit worried. We're going to have a lugia uh, Lugia mirror, but there it is. With the capture energy, can, does find the Lugia. Of Vsar and just like that, Lance is so off to much the races. Ahead. Yes, yes. He absolutely. Has, he has the right Pokemon in the active as well with the amazing Raikou. Uh, again, amazing Raikou has the capability, amazing shot, 120 damage to the active, 120 damage to the bench. And you know, e amazing rare Evil Tal only has 110 HP. That's a great way to take that knockout eventually, as well as damage something in the bench. If uh, Evan can't find a mana fee or anything really. So very, very important turn here coming up for Evan. And let's see what or, else yeah. Lance decides to find. Well, we're going to see a quick ball discarding that Serena as well. So that's an, a gusting option in the discard pile now on Lance's side. But it's going to draw out the Oranguru, one of my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite cards. I'm going to be so <laughs> sad to see that Primate Wisdom go. Of course, the Primate Wisdom, you get to take a card from your hand, place it to the top of your deck, and you, of course, switch it with the top of the, the deck. So a little bit of draw support here for Oranguru. And, of course, saving some cards potentially that you might need to rescue you just in case there's some sort of disruption from your opponent's side of the field. And speaking of that side of the field, we're over on Evan Smith's side as well. Does find themselves a Lugia V, finally top deck, so one card off, attaches a V-Guard energy as well, and gets the Luminion. So he does get a supporter for turn here as well. Yep. So equalizing the play, uh, playing field. Now both players have their Lugia V-Star. The next, the next part of the Lugia V-Star flow sheet, uh, flow chart yes, is going to be uh, finding those Archaeopses and putting them in the discard pile and finding the V-Star. And from there, that's when the game 
really starts. <laughs> yeah, and speaking of the disruption I was mentioning, we're going to see a Marnie here from Evan Smith's side of the field. So searched out from that Luminion V with that luminous sign ability to search out a supporter. We're going to see both players shuffle their hands, put it at the bottom of the deck. Evan, who initiated the Marnie, of course, going to draw into those five cards. So yeah. whatever Lance put on to the top of the deck could potentially be something that It looks that like helps. it was a research. So it was oh, a very so that awesome. primate wisdom just coming in clutch. In so much work, but he also drew into another research though. So <laughs> oh, wow, wow, <laughs> he was wow, fine wow. either way. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of research down then because there's already one in the discard pile as well. <laughs> but yes, here we go over on Evan Smith's side of the field. That is an important Pokemon uh, to see that mana fee coming out here. Of course, that's going to uh, protect the bench Pokemon now from that very dangerous Raikou, amazing rare Raikou that we see in the active position on Lance's side. Of course, that Wave Veil, such an infamous Pokemon that we see regularly in these uh, decks to make sure that your opponent is not able to take multiple prize cards uh, in one turn and also knock out um, several of your key Pokemon too. All right. There we go. We see it. The Summoning Star, most powerful V-Star uh, power to date. Well, arguably getting <laughs> the uh, double Primal Turbo. Uh, sorry, double Archaeops into play there. Perfect. So we're going to see the Primal Turbo. Let Probably going to power up the Raikou, just because it's it's the ideal attacker. So it's still a one prize attacker. Yes, you're going to have to expend a couple of your colored energy. That's something of note in the Lugia decks, right? Energy management is yeah. key. So you're really counting how many Aurora energies you have in the deck, how many of those speed lightnings left, if you still have your heat, fire, energy. Those are key, right? Because if you run out of those, you ha you don't have access to your your colored attackers, you might, because the amazing rare Raikou is powered up now, maybe uh, Lance won't have access to amazing rare Evil Tal or maybe Radiant Charizard later on. But, but yeah, but still, great attacker in this matchup. Just gets the easy KO there on the Evil Tal eventually. Uh, we're going to see the Primate Wisdom uh, effect happening there. Let's. I, I wonder if it's it's one of two things, right? It's either he's setting up the board for next turn, like like we saw earlier, putting the research on top, or putting back in special energies and then shuffling the deck. Yep, absolutely. We do see the choice belt come down as well on Lance Bradshaw's side of the field. You want to get as many cards played as possible before you do a professor's research, as we just saw. Dunsparce hitting the discard pile along with Archaeops from that research. We're going back into the deck here now with an Evolution Incense on Lance's side of the field here. So searching out an Evolution Pokemon from the deck. Um, of course, thinning the deck as well, if you're able to do that. But right now, Lance is just going to do a quick search through, fail the search on the Evo Incense, and still have a lot of cards to play with in hand off that research. But shuffling them so quick, <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> exactly. I like the choice spell there on the Lugia VSAR, just because that's probably your next attacker, um, since Evan here does have their own Lugia V pa almost pa well, has an energy on the Lugia V. It's going to be that V-Guard energy. So the, the Choice Belt technically just counteracts that. V-Guard energy uh, lessens the damage you take from Pokemon V by 30. And it just so happens Choice Belt increases damage by 30. Equal yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. It kind of balances out the field there. But there we go. Lance is going to take the knockout here and take first prize card. So even though Evan Smith did go first, Lance is going to be first to a prize card here with that amazing rare Raikou taking out that Evitol as well, which is pretty crucial in the mirror match that we see so many times. So Evan Smith at least not going to have it for now unless it's able to be searched out of the discard uh, potentially somewhere else down the line with something like an ordinary rod or such. But here we go. Yeah, Lance going down a prize card back over onto Evan Smith's side of the field. And we're going to see, uh, I believe this is a research yes, here. big research. Evan. And Evan just showing us he does have the Archaeopses in the discard pile. Two Archaeopses. Yes. <laughs> Next question, can you find the Lugia V-Star? The V-Star. <laughs> don't think I see it in hand at the moment. So, no Oranguru. Is this going to be the Primate Wisdom Clutch? Are we going <laughs> to see it happen? Something of note as well. Oh my gosh, it's just a V. There, there's four cards already in uh, Evan's, si uh, Evan's bench. That means even yeah. if he has access to Summoning Star, he only gets one Archaeops. 
That is very true. The, I mean, the bench is filling up here. Oh, no! Oh. No V-Star on Evan Smith's side of the field. Not And the Primate Wisdom could not clutch things for Evan Smith. And Lance Bradshaw is going to capitalize on that here, drawing the Lugia V into the active position with that boss's orders. I mean, this is exactly where you want to be on Lance's side of the field. Yes, amazing. Rare Raikou, again, is a lightning Pokemon. Lugia V. Just so happens to be weak to lightning there. So this should be a very clean knockout. And since that's Evan's only Lugia V in play, it definitely sets him back a couple of turns. Not only, uh, yes, Lance is going to go up a couple of prizes. That's important. But at what's most key here is that the board state is just completely in Lance's control. Um, Again, there's two Luminion Vs as well on Evan's sides of the field. Easy knockout eventually. But again, no Lugia V. That's, that's going to be tough. I can't imagine a way for Evan to really get back without without it. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely going to be an uphill battle for sure. And you can really see the tides turn. I mean, this is such a powerful deck that we're seeing both of these players piloting. But unfortunately, in these mirror matches, sometimes it's a lot less close than it can potentially be. And unfortunately, that's what we're seeing, that Lugia V is going down. Lance taking another two prize cards and taking that huge liability Ooh. there off of the field that from research. Evan Smith. We're seeing a research. Of course, we did get another Lugia V down before that research happened. And and we're going to see an attachment to it with the capture energy. Um, what? Yeah, the two bosses orders. The two bosses, yes. I want to talk about that, that real quick. discard pile. Definitely, definitely. So not only is Evan just down a lot of resources. Yeah. He's also, yeah, again, falling behind the Lugia race, down a couple of bosses orders. Losing it might be techs. time to start thinking, how can I adjust for game two? <laughs> yes, absolutely. And speaking of which, you know, of course, our players are always monitoring the clock, making sure that they end up in some wins versus ties. And speaking of that, we do have a five minute time extension for these players. Of course, we did have to pull them onto the stage and all of that. So that is reflected now on our clock. So 26 minutes still on the clock here for these players. Lance is still just running away with this game as of now. I mean, the just the difference in board states that you see here is just absolutely enormous so yep here we go the quick ball there um yeah that's true of course <laughs> these players are one one here right mm, now it's, so it, i feel like i'm uh casting casting a, a new match i know here, that but I, yes, I made the mistake too. no absolutely evan smith and lance bradshaw as we see <laughs> on the screen are both one one right now so yeah. one of these players is just a game away of winning this exactly that's why I, in my mind i was like if if you know it might be time to just uh, scoop it up, think about game two. I but, was you know, the same thing. <laughs> when it's 1-1, one, one, no, you have to play it out. This is yes. your only opportunity, and uh, your last opportunity, excuse me. And, you know, sometimes, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. If uh, Lance goes down to, like, two prizes, Radiant Charizard can start attacking. Maybe that could be an option for sure. Uh, looks like Manaphy should be going down here shortly. That, that will open some bench spots up for uh, Evan to get two Archaeopses in play, which is very, very important again. Mm -hmm. But again, uphill battle. Lance down Oof. to three. We're going to see just the amazing shot take the knockout back. Yeah, Evan at this point, as you said, Wancho, um, you know, being 1-1 just has to battle it out to the exactly. very bitter end here on Evan's <laughs> side of the field. Um, so here we go. Lugia V being promoted into the active position. It does have one energy already on it. There, Ultra Ball is going to be played, discarding a two quick ball here. And there we go. So late, unfortunately, but we do get a Lugia V star here now on Evan's side. Yes, Lance down to two prizes. So essentially, if they can find, if they can knock out this Lugia V star, they win the game. If they can gust a Luminion V. They win the game. Uh, looking yep. at their bench right now, they have a Lugia V-Star with two powerful energy and a choice belt. That's <laughs> that's 290. This board state's scary. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very scary thing to be looking at here on Evan's side of the field. But, hey, got to do what you got to do here, of course. <laughs> now, we have the V-Star. There's nothing blocking um, that V-Star power, and that is exactly what we're going to see here, you know, grabbing one of many Archaeops <laughs> from the discard pile exactly. here. So both those Archaeops are going to come down, and we're going to be seeing those Primal Turbo over on Evan's side of the field now. So energy being searched out of the deck, of course. It has to be the special energy, um, different types, but attached to one yes. Pokemon. It looks like their opting is just straight attack with the Lugia V-Star. In my mind, I was thinking maybe 
you, you can retreat the Lugia V-Star, attack with something like the Luminion. Luminion with the Aqua Return can just go back into the deck, conserve I mean, your just, energy. Yeah, it's two that's prize like cards left, it's like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you know, if you attack with this Lugia, the Lugia on the yeah. Lugia on the bench can just clean up the game here. That's true. That is very true. All and right, so we are going to see that Raikou go down on Lance's side of the field. Evan taking at least a prize card here in this <laughs> match. But look at this, Lance Bradshaw attacking is there energy in the deck? a there it fourth is. powerful colorless energy, and that is going to be enough damage here to just take out <laughs> that Lugia V-Star over on Evan's side. And Lance Bradshaw is going to be the one taking this win with a 2-1 record here in this match. This is our round six, so that's round another six, win yeah. for Lance. 501, very good position to be in for sure. And I think we just got to showcase there. It was very quick, but the power of Lugia V-Star. Again, you skip a beat, literally miss one turn, yeah. and Lugia can just take the game. <laughs> yeah, Lugia versus Lugia. I mean, especially when it's that first turn, unfortunately. Exactly. You know, sometimes if you already have a little bit of a board established, you can kind of rescue things down the line. Lugia is one of those deck decks that has the comeback potential mm -hmm. um, in these matches. But yeah, when you're whiffing so much on that turn one and then your opponent has everything they need, it's definitely a rough spot to be in. It and I mean, that's one of the reasons people don't necessarily uh, enjoy this format at the <laughs> moment, because, you know, if you're there, there's a lack of comeback uh, sometimes if, if you get a difficult setup there. And unfortunately, that's what we saw uh, on Evan's side. Yeah, again, it just goes to show the importance of really building your, sec your deck the most consistent you can, yeah. right? That's why you've seen people like Tord or Reklev just really have pure consistency, Lugia, no tech yeah. options. And, um, you know, if, because if you can get going, you're, you're probably winning the game. Didn't pay off in that Duraludon match, though. <laughs> 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 oh, Tord probably was wishing for that lost <laughs> vacuum there, but no, that's 100% true. Tord is one of those players that always relies uh, majorly on uh, consistency in, the, in decks, and uh, Lugia is just one of those decks that has that. Um, mm -hmm. For sure, and I mean, when you, you when you look at the construct of a Lugia deck too, uh, it's supporters kind of getting you through all of your uh, card draw. Uh, I mean, I guess a little bit of that Oranguru as yeah. well, <laughs> potentially. But yeah, it's just playing a pure supporter engine exactly. to get through your deck, grind things out. Um, and it's yeah. typically your board really you know, everything you need is there, right? Your energy acceleration yeah. is the Archeops. The, yeah. You know, you're, you're, all you really need are those quick balls to find the right attackers at the right yeah. time. And, you know, you have two Luminion, you know? <laughs> yes, you, you mentioned it is very supporter heavy because you, you yeah. don't really want to draw in too much. You might draw into a couple of energies, you know? <laughs> so, you know, getting those Luminions, uh, definitely important for sure. And yes. uh, again, yep. it's just the Lugia deck. We've got to see what Lugia does. Definitely made me feel like I'm officially a caster that I got to say <laughs> summoning <Lugia> star. <laughs> That's true, absolutely. Summoning star, V star.